Hey, this is Presh Talker. This problem is going viral right now, and it's being shared with the claim that only a genius could solve it and that 99% fail. Many people are arguing about what the correct answer is. In this video, I'm going to explain what many people believe to be the correct answer. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. So before you start computing the final answer, you should look very closely at the last line. The shapes are different from the shapes in the previous lines. For example, the clock in the final line shows 2 o'clock, but in the previous line it shows 3 o'clock. Furthermore, the bananas in the final line have bunches of 3 bananas as compared to the other bunches in the equations which have 4 bananas. Finally, the last shape has only 11 edges compared to the other shape in the figures which has 15 edges. So in order to solve this problem, we're going to have to figure out numerical values that we can figure out and apply to the final line. So let's try and see if there's any logical structure to these equations. We'll start out with the first equation. We have three of these shapes which are equal to 45. This simplifies to one hexagon being equal to 15. However, it's not just a hexagon. If you look closely at the shape, it consists of a hexagon which has six edges, a pentagon which has five edges, and a square which has four edges. We're going to have to figure out a value for the edges in order that we can figure out a value for the shape in the final line. So we can simplify this if we count the total number of edges. This shape has 15 edges and it's equal to 15. So we can conclude that one edge is equal to one. We'll take this information and use it to solve the next equation. We can replace the hexagon figure with the value of 15 that we just figured out. We now have two bunches of bananas that will be equal to 23 minus 15, which is eight. We can simplify that a single bunch of bananas is equal to four. Now look closely at this bunch of bananas. There are four bananas in the bunch, and that's equal to four. So that would simplify to mean one banana is equal to one. We'll take this information and use it to solve the next equation. We have a bunch of four bananas, which we know will be equal to four. We're adding that to two clocks, which show three o'clock. And that's going to be equal to 10. When we take 10 minus four, we get six. So we have two clocks showing three o'clock that's equal to six. We can simplify that one clock showing three o'clock is equal to three. Now, since three o'clock is equal to three, that would suggest that each hour is equal to one. We now have the information needed to evaluate the last line. We start out with a clock that shows two o'clock. Since each hour is equal to one, we can assign a value of two here. We now have a bunch of bananas where each bunch has three bananas. Since each banana is equal to one, we can say each bunch has a value of three. We finally have a shape and there are 11 edges in total to the shape. We're missing the square from the previous figure in the earlier equations. Since each edge is equal to 1, 11 edges would be equal to 11. So we're now ready to evaluate this expression, but we have to remember one more thing. We have a multiplication in this equation. So we need to evaluate that first according to the order of operations. 3 times 11 is equal to 33. We have 2 plus 3 plus 33. So what's our final answer? Two plus three plus 33 is equal to 38. And that's the answer to this puzzle. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Press Hallwalker. 
And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.